Good evening, everybody. Hope y'all are doing well, staying safe, and uh, whatnot. But just taking the doggos for a good old walk and um, not really counting the steps today. I am, after logging all of my meals today, I've eaten three times. After logging all three meals, plus I had half a slice of the cake and I still have 600 calories that I can consume if I want to just maintain weight. So since I'm trying to lose weight, I will not eat anything else today. Um, I've drank a liter of water. Um, so yeah, I am doing pretty good. And like I said, getting the walk in with the doggos. I do have their leashes, but this area isn't very heavily foot trafficked. Um, it is moderately truck trafficked, but um, not enough so to worry. So, yeah. At any rate, that's uh, all that's going on. Oh, I forgot to like include videos of the food that I cooked. So, um, I'm sorry guys that I didn't include that today, but I'm sure y'all are okay with it. This week, so far, we have gotten 2,100 miles that we're getting paid for. All of our loads are turned in. We have another load tomorrow morning. It's just a short little three hour stint. Um, and then... We will see what we get after that. But if we get back to the yard um, by Tuesday, then I will be able to turn in whatever loads we uh, cover. So that 180 miles plus whatever um, other load that I may or may not get. So yeah, hopefully we can get a load um, maybe another three or four hundred miles. That would be good. And then, uh, that'd bring us up to, what, 25, 2600 miles for the week? Um, yeah, but either way, it's pretty good. We're getting paid decently enough, so it's no big deal. I did put in a request for time off for my birthday. Uh, non-negotiable request, by the way. That is not something I want to... Spudley! Come on, Bubba's. Yeah, so I'm going to spend four days in Vegas for my birthday. Um, so that'll be in May. And uh, so since I'm doing that, I put in a request for that time off. And I pretty much plan to work between now and then because... The, to get the homestead some power, um, sewage, and uh, water, it would be about 2100 bucks to get all that set up, not counting the fact that I still um, need to refill the propane tanks. Spud, come. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. Sarah Bear. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, with the propane tank, I can have the propane company come and install one where I want to put the RV and the house. And uh, that way I would have a larger propane tank that the propane company would come and fill once every so often. I guess for me it'd be every couple months, um, depending on how much I cook. So, but that would be probably about 50% cheaper than spending money on refilling the smaller propane tanks. I think they're 25 gallon propane tanks. So, come on, Spud. Spud's got the zooms. So, at any rate, that's kind of what's going on. I'm just 
doing a little bit here and there, trying to save money, trying to eat healthier, trying to, you know, get out and exercise. I recognize that I haven't been doing enough exercise. And I was actually going to go hiking today since we are at home. And there's another trail that I've been looking at wanting to do. But I really, really don't want to go. Um, I don't want to drive. So I am kind of done for today. Smudgy! Bye, bus! Good boy! Yeah! There we go. He's a little monster. At any rate. So that's all the, uh, it's all the updates I have for y'all right now. And I will see you in the morning. Y'all have a good day.